what's up? My name is Jack Maddox. Um, today, or this weekend, I'm going to be playing a little tournament up at um, Purdue College. And yeah, this video is just going to be going over a little bit of my preparation for the weekend and the tournament, see how I do. Um, a little interesting point in the game right now, um, just I play at the University of Redlands in California and um, we had a short fall season that was hitting a lot and I after took a full month off almost three four weeks um, so I'm pretty rusty but I've been back hitting the best week or two trying to get back in shape um, and ready for it and so I'm just gonna go play this tournament see how it goes just try to leave it all out there there's some really really good players in there so hopefully get some good matches in and just have a good time see how it goes let's do it all right so it is uh, Wednesday right now my first round is gonna be um, Friday at 1 so I got two days uh, our courts at our school are getting remodeled right now, so I got to drive to the courts. Gonna get a little like two, two and a half hour session. And then I got fitness with the team, and depending on how I'm feeling, I'm either gonna stop it there or maybe go get another hour and after that, but we'll see. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, okay, I really have no clue what I'm doing because like this is the first video so I have no clue like what I should be filming and what I shouldn't. But anyways, just got, came back from the hit and I just went to fitness and got some dinner. Um, I'm gonna go hit with a couple more of my teammates. Probably just like a 45 minute hour groove. So I just ran up the stairs. Um, yeah, that's it, I don't know. Gang. Ooh. I just got back from that second hit. It's like almost nine right now. I'm probably just gonna shower up, go to bed, and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, day before the tournament. I'm not gonna do much. I'm gonna probably hit for like an hour and a half and stretch and just chill out. Get ready for the day, bro. I'm so gassed. I can't even talk right now. Yeah. <sighs> Catch you. Look at this. Look at this RC footage right here. Try not to hit this car. <laughs> no, no, it's going on, baby. This isn't the worst spot to play a tennis tournament. What you think? Oh, uh, pretty good. Pretty solid, huh? The fuck? Feels like I'm like walking to my death or something. <laughs> oh. oh yeah look at these bad boys all right here we are at the spot um out at pepperdine in malibu california oh, dude. great location for a tournament right these courts were super fun to play on um it was really great it was really great so 
yeah, my first round opponent, I was playing some a kid named, oh, I forgot his first name, but he was from UCSB, University of California, Santa Barbara, so solid D1 player, so let's see how we can do. This is my first service game. This tournament was a weird format. It was first to four, two out of three sets, 10-point tiebreaker for the third, no add. So definitely quick. Um, a lot of you, if you get broken quick, like it's over just like that. So definitely tough. But I was able to hold here uh, to go up 1-0. Start it off. This kid had a very big serve. I had a lot of trouble dealing with it at first. Um, he was serving big, so he held 1-1. One, one. Good scramble there to get the point. This was a tougher service game. It went to no add deuce point. And um, yeah, this is the no add deuce point here. And luckily, I was I just pushed that one back. And oh, wait, never mind. Sorry, I messed it up. Here's the no add deuce point coming up. So this one right here. I had a super weak forehand, very tight, and luckily he misses. So 2-1, we're up now. Decent scramble, good point by him. Server just too big. 2-2. Two, two. I was using my forehand pretty well here in the first set. Backhand was definitely a little bit tight, though. Um, he was just hitting big serves, big forehands, and just kind of exposing me, honestly. This was a really long, tough game here. Stupid drop shot. <laughs> Got away with it. That was so lucky. I remember, like, how did I win that point? Lucky ass lob over his head. And I missed that forehand there. So now, just like that, it's 3-1 or 3-2 him. And he easily holds here. I missed that return in the net. And boom, just like that, it's set. It's crazy. You can see I'm just like, dang. It's over just like that. But anyways, things can happen quick in these fast four formats. So here we are at 0-0 zero, zero in the second. Okay, this is my favorite point of the match right here. This was sick. Underhand serve. And a little lob right over the head. So that was clutch. Yeah, let me... I mean, I really don't like this camera angle. Preferably, I would have the whole court. I'm working on getting, like, a better... Like, maybe something I can put on top of the fence to film these matches. But this isn't preferred, so... Hope you guys can bear with me for this. Uh, this will only be for this video, and we'll, we'll definitely work out a better camera angle. Solid put away there. All right, so we hold to start the second, and we're up 1-0 started i was able to kind of start timing his serve up a little better in this uh second set but it was still big and very hard to deal with he was a good player forehand's just looking so tight dude but i was get i was getting away with it he was starting to miss a little more and i was just like all right i'm gonna keep the ball in good return there to go up 30 15 
you can see I'm just making balls here, just trying to see if he'll give give me any free points, and he was. So got a good forehand there, and we go up 40-15, and this is the deuce point here. He gets it back to deuce. Um, so no add deuce to get the break. Weak return, and luckily he misses that one long. So he kind of gave that one to us there, but we're up 2-0, and we're serving with the chance to go up 3-0. As you can see, things turn around quick in these, these fast matches. Good way to start off a game. Using the forehand well today, actually, so that was nice to see. Another good point there, being aggressive, stepping in. And got away with the easy hold, so it's 3-0. He serves a good game, so 3-1, serving for the set. Heavy slice to my backhand, and I didn't know what to do with it. He had a very heavy backhand slice, and he was approaching off it, and I had a lot of trouble with it. Um, we get the ace after that, though, which was clutch way to follow it up. And we serve it out. 4-1. All right, so here's the 10-point breaker. I was very tight during this, to be honest. Um, I didn't have a great mindset. like Just kind of frustrating, but... I mean, I def you never know and with a tiebreaker like this, anything can happen, but we lose the first point, and we're down 0-1. Get the second, it's one all. That one pissed me off. I can't believe I missed that volley. <laughs> Big serve there. 3-1. And he gives one back with a double fault. Two, three serving. And how do I follow it up? I double fall right back. Great work, Jack. We love to see that. Okay, it gets very interesting here. Uh, down 2-4. Hit a big forehand, get the winner. That was clutch. So he's serving up 4-3. And he misses there, four all. And what does he do here? This is surprising. He hadn't been doing this all match. But out of nowhere, throws in another double fault. So now we're serving up 5-4. Please roast me in the comments for that. Now I had a good chance to go up 6-4, and now it's 5 all. And now I'm just missing. 6-5 him. And 7-5 on the changeover. So, you know, keeping it close. Definitely playing very tight. If I would have done this again, I would have just, you know, played loose, played my game. I really just kind of was hoping he would give it to me. And he was a little too disciplined to do that here at the end. So, as you can see, look, just... Playing a tight backhand when I should have just been ripping it and playing my game. Now it's 5-8. Better point there, 6-8. No feel on that one. 9-6, match point here. And there it goes. So, not the best breaker. I had my opportunities there. I mean, missing that easy backhand to go up 6-4 sucked. Double fault. But, hey, you know, he was a good player. It was a good match and good learning experience nonetheless.
Hey, what's up guys? So I'm just finishing editing this video right now, just getting to the end of it. If you got to this point, I don't know if any of you did, but thank you. That, that's crazy. If anyone's actually watching this, that'd mean a lot to me. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this match was actually from back in November. Um, it was a tough one. I lost it. Um, I was planning on posting this video a while ago, but you know, life kind of caught up with me and here we are. It's January 2nd. It's like three in the morning, but yeah, no, I'm really starting this YouTube journey, guys. I'm committed to it and I'm going to be posting a lot of videos. So hopefully you guys will stick with me. I know this first video might've been a little choppy, a little ugly, but Hey, got to get the first one out of the way. Um, so we can just get on to new, new, better things. Um, yeah, a couple of things like that camera angle for that match. I'm definitely gonna try to fix that. I want to get the whole court so you guys can really see me building points up. Um, and it was kind of hard to commentate over it because it happened months ago. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. Got the first video out of the way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm heading back to California soon for the season, so there's gonna be a lot of content coming on like coming out around. Um, the college season and just my preparation everything like that i got actually a ton of fun ideas so if you guys want to stick with me with this journey it would be absolutely fantastic and i i can't wait so hey i don't really know what to say thank you guys have a fantastic day